Spread your wings. Nothing is impossible, believe me. If I can do it, you can spread your wings. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a long awaited video that I was supposed to make about a year ago. It's been about like 10 months since I made my jerk shrimp recipe video. And in that video I had some mango avocado salsa. And a lot of you guys in the comments were asking how to make the um, salsa. So you know, it's late but better late than never and I got you today. So right now, this is just an overview of all the ingredients that I'm going to need for the salsa. So right here, I'm starting out with one lime. I have some cilantro, black pepper right there, one red onion, mango, of course, tomato, yellow bell pepper, green bell pepper, red bell pepper. I have an avocado right here, some Cajun seasoning, and some salt. We're just going to use a little bit of this salt. So this is basically just a brief overview of everything that we're going to use today. If you guys want to see this mango avocado salsa, then definitely keep on watching this video. So one of the very first steps you want to take is to make sure that you wash everything that you're using. So I'm not using the whole bell peppers. So I have a half a yellow bell pepper, half of red, half of green. And right here I have my purple onion. I basically just stripped the outside um, layer of the onion and then I just have this left. I have my mango, tomato, and my avocado. So I'm not gonna wash the cilantro as yet because it's leafy. I wanna make sure that I get that really well just in case there's like any bugs or anything in that. So I'm just gonna wash the cilantro by itself. But you wanna ensure that you wash everything that you're about to cut up. Oh, I forgot to mention that I also washed the lime. Like when you go to the Korean store, the grocery store, wherever you get your produce from, you do not know like who touched what. So you got to ensure that you wash everything. And right now it's the winter time, so it's definitely cold and flu season. And yeah, we don't need that. So wash literally everything that you're about to use. So once I'm finished with washing everything, I basically just use some napkins to pat everything dry. Um, right now I'm about to just chop everything. I'm not going to show you guys how I chop everything. I'm just going to show you the size that it needs to be chopped to because I don't want this video to be extremely long. I just want it to be as straightforward and as simple as possible. I'm just going to show you guys the size of everything. So basically this is what everything looks like after I chopped it. I have the red onions here, the tomatoes, yellow bell peppers, green bell peppers, and the red bell peppers. You could chop it to whatever size you'd like, but this is the size I like using. I don't like the onions to be too big because then it's going to just start tasting really raw. So this is a matter of preference, but this is the size that I like using. I basically just combined all the peppers, onions, and stuff that I just chopped. Right now I'm about to add in the mango, the avocado, and the cilantro, and then show you guys what everything is looking like. I'm going to show you guys the size that I cut the mango and the avocado to, just in case you want to follow that, but like I said, it's a matter of preference. So I basically just de-seeded the avocado after I cut it in half, and then the mango, this is what I got from it. Sometimes when you buy mangoes, it's a hit or miss, but yeah, hopefully you guys have better luck than I do, but this is... The mango, the avocado that I'm about to add to the other things that I already cut. And we're just going to combine everything all together like we've been doing. I'm going to give everything a final mix once I add in the cilantro, the lime juice, and the little seasonings just to give it an extra kick. I just roughly chopped about six sprigs of fresh cilantro and I'm just going to add that atop everything and then... The last ingredient that I'm going to use that I need to cut is the lime. Once again, I'm just going to mix everything all together. So I have my lime cut in half. I'm basically just going to squeeze the juice from each half over everything and then once again just combine everything together
So I just topped everything off with a sprinkle of salt, a sprinkle of black pepper, and a sprinkle of the Cajun spices. And now I'm just going to give everything a final mix. Here is the final mango avocado salsa. I'm going to leave below in the description box the ingredients and the measurements that you guys need to use of everything that I used today. You can have it with jerk shrimp, you can have it with jerk salmon, just anything spicy that you want to kind of tone down a bit. This is great as a topping, but right now I'm about to have it with some Tostito chips. It's a really, really good dip and it tastes really good. Like all the flavors combined together is really, really good. Mm -hmm.